here we go. I'm getting close to <laughs> it's gonna max out maybe. Ooh, what's happening? I don't like that. Sheesh. Got like a freaking volcano going on in there. <laughs> I'm gonna add some more sand, I guess. Let's see what happens. Bought an indoor outdoor. I bought an indoor outdoor thermometer for in here. Look at this window, the hood's Okay, I turned the fan on and I've got this digital thermometer. It's gonna take a bit for it to register though. So the outdoor is the one that we're gonna be reading here. I can actually take this in the house, I guess. Okay, this is monitoring inside of that little box. I got the fan going, it's at 90 degrees right now and climbing. I think it's about four o'clock in the afternoon and it's 49 degrees outside. It's 10 minutes after four. That fan's been running for about 15 minutes. It's 99 degrees in the little monitor box. Okay, at 410 it was 100 degrees. Now it's 420, it's 110 degrees. 443, the sun's down and it's still climbing. It's at 115 degrees inside of the monitoring box. It's 45 degrees outside. And 115 inside the monitoring box. And it's still holding power on this little unit down here at 20.4 volts. So I can run this probably all night or hours for sure. Now look at this box. Can you see that? where the the heat from the vent pipe right there is hitting that glass just so you can see there's the there's the the sensor this isn't some kind of a gimmick this is a real deal here 115 degrees inside this box it's five o'clock my workbench is a mess sun's down not quite dark but almost dark outside I think it's about 43 degrees outside and it's still holding steady, 115 degrees. Let's do this again so you can see. 502, this ain't no freaking gimmick. <laughs> Come on now. Okay, 502. Oh, it went up 116 degrees. Now, how the hell did it do that? That's weird. Yeah. Sun's down and it went up. You know, it might have went up because I wrapped it up. So that just goes to show it. The top needs to be covered with gravel and sand also. Obviously, I can't do that and monitor it. But once the system is fail-safe, it will be completely encapsulated. Is in my, that's the way I envision it. 507. It just went up again, 117 degrees. 534, it went up again, 118 degrees. Six o'clock, January 6th. It's still holding 118 degrees. 608, it just dropped to 117 degrees. 619, it just dropped to 116. Okay, it's 650 in the evening of course, and just dropped to 115 degrees. 3.33 in the morning, January 7th, Saturday. It's still 76 degrees inside the monitoring box with no fan running. Saturday morning, 6.48, January 7th, the second day. It's still 70 degrees inside of the monitoring box with no fan on so now i'm going to go turn the fan on and see how warm it gets 653 i just turned the fan on the temperature's going up it was 70 now it's 71 707 80 degrees still climbing it's 709 Went up to 81 degrees. I'm going to unwrap it because the sun's popping up and I want to see what the temperature is inside. So this might drop it a couple degrees when I get the plastic off of it. <laughs> I 
just turned the fan on about 20 minutes ago. I'm going to uncover this now and see what the temperature is inside. It's nice and warm, the first cover. I heard out here it's 30 degrees. That one's even warmer, of course. I'd say that sand is 200 degrees, I bet, in the middle. Hundred and thirty five degrees on the outside here. So the heat has migrated, which I kind of figured it would. Still warm in there though. There's one forty. So it's seven twenty one, I unwrapped it, the temperature did drop, but then it started going back up. Now it's back up to eighty two. 755 I put a cover on that window so the sun was causing it to heat up a false reading a little bit but it's still 81 degrees in there and holding steady